You can see it in the architecture, taste it in the food, and smell it in the air. He wants to build what is a lasting legacy, something that will carry his name. Steven Stamberger is not only a great storyteller, he's a guide with historic walking tours of Ybor, helping to carry on the legacy of the city's heritage, rich in Cuban culture. I'm going to take you back in time and we're going to take you to the casitas, the factory houses that Mr. Ybor will build and provide for all of the people that come to work here and to live here. And you'll learn what life was like back in those days. It's a little harsh by today's standards. A fitting place to start, the statue of Mr. Vincente Martinez Ibor, the founder of Ibor City and creator of the legacy of Cigar City. The 90-minute tour takes you back to the late 1800s, from the very first social club, Centro Espanol, to the well-known Cuban club. Social clubs were the heart and soul of the community. Your entire personal life will be spent in your respective social club. And along with your dues comes all your medical care. These are early forms of HMOs in the clubs. And your doctor and medical staff will be your heritage. You'll have Spanish doctors, Spanish medical staff. Walking the brick streets of Ybor, you'll see many pieces of history. Cigar factories, the State Museum, and a spot known to many I Cubans as Holy Ground. So we are technically in Cuba. In Cuba. Jose Marti Park is the only plot of land in the United States owned by Cuba. So that's actually Cuban soil in each one of these round gardens. Marti was a Spanish aristocrat giving his first speech from Ybor City calling for the liberation of Cuba. You will often see families of Cubans that will purposely travel to Ybor City from all over the country to visit this park. Just to come here. Because this is holy ground. Okay. A living history waiting for you to explore. We may not be Cuban, we may not be Spanish, but we all have a link to what went on here.